I'm Addie, 29, and from Louisiana. Before the prayer line, I would say I was struggling a lot with fear, like a paralyzing fear to where it prevented me from doing things I wanted to do. Um, I definitely had a huge fear of judgment and like what people thought of me. I was very, very self-conscious. And I also struggled a lot with um, like sleep paralysis and sometimes um, having just like vivid demonic dreams and just waking up in the morning in like cold sweats. I mean, I would always try to pray, Lord, save me or call out the name of Jesus, but it felt like the, the demonic forces were just trying to hold me down. Going through the prayer line showed me that I still had hidden demonic spirits in me, either through like generational curses or just through my own sin that entered in me. And so Pastor Lana was praying for me and um, she just wouldn't stop praying for me. I think she knew like there was something in me that needed to get out when I thought I was like, okay, I'm just here for prayer to get deliverance. But I told God um, last night that I'm not going to leave until I receive something for you from you. I'm not going to leave until I have an encounter with you that will change my life. And she just kept praying. She just kept pressing in on, on me. And eventually it did manifest physically and it kept saying, no, I don't want to leave. No, I want her to die. Um, and she just kept saying, no, you have to get out. She's like, no, she has a call in her life and I don't want that to happen. So, um, that's what it kept saying. And it was, it was weird because I'm like, I'm talking, but I'm not talking, you know? I'm like, what is this? But I finally, I was like, Lord, I surrender. And when I surrender, that's when I felt the Holy Spirit in me and I just fell to the ground. And when I got back up, I was so excited. I just started jumping up and down and screaming because I knew my freedom. My freedom finally came and God gave me what I had asked for. And he's so faithful and I'm just... I'm just so grateful. And today we have um, Abby joining us on Zoom. Abby, we want to welcome you to Hungry Gen. Thank you for joining. And can you share with us what God has been doing or what your life has been like um, since the last prayer line a month ago? Sure. Good morning, Hungry Gen. I'm really excited to be here. Um, since going through the deliverance, I really feel new. You know, like the word says that God makes you into a new creation. That's how I feel because like the weight that was holding me down of like depression or impurity or the nightmares that came to me, like they're no longer here. So I really found my freedom in Christ and have grown to know the power of God in my life and that I don't have to be afraid or even settle because the devil tells me to settle, that I'll always be stuck in this depression or this fear. But I've just grown to know like my full authority in Christ that he's giving me. And like Pastor Blast says, I'm giving a devil a black eye every day because I'm like, you're not going to come for me because I've gotten my, yeah. my confidence, you know. So I'm just living free and you live life so different when you're free. That is so amazing. Thank you. And what is your advice today to people that maybe came for the prayer line out of town and they're just hungry and desperate for God to set them free? What do you want to encourage them with? I would really encourage people that are going through the prayer line, be open and be desperate for God and that deliverance doesn't start. It doesn't really stop when you get delivered. It has to be pursued every day. So even after you experience your deliverance, still continue to pursue God. Amen. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony with us today.